Hey, this is Dean Soto, and I wanted to do this quick start tutorial for uh, Keyword Inspector Reverse ASIN. Okay, um, this is the Keyword Inspector uh, Reverse ASIN suite, and the cool thing is, <clears throat> you get to have a little sneak peek of what the new UI is going to look like for uh, Keyword Inspector. Um, if you're if you're uh, just recently watching this, um, this is not open to the public yet. But uh, <laughs> compared to the way it used to look, it didn't look quite as good. It looks friggin' amazing now. And so I wanted to uh, do this and uh, kind of do a reverse ASIN quick start because I get a lot of people who ask, really, how, how can you best utilize reverse ASIN? So I wanted to give my quick take on what to do with reverse ASIN and how to use it in a way that is um, uh, quick, effective, and you can get started um, using it um, quickly, hence the quick start. All right, so let's go into this. I am in the new Keyword Inspector. We're going to be using Reverse ASIN. So now we have, we can see the separate tools that um, are in Keyword Inspector now. We have the Reverse ASIN Keyword Tool. We have Keyword Trends. We have Search Term, the Search Term Tool, which is free, and then Kippert, which is the Product Research Tool. I'm going to actually go to this Reverse ASIN um, area right here, and I'm going to click on, um, you know what? Yeah, let's just click new. All right, so reverse ASIN uses credits, and depending on what type of search that you're going to be using, it's going to it's going to depend on how many credits you actually use. Okay, so you're going to have um, extensive. So you have USA Extensive, USA Simple, um, you have USA Reverse ASIN PPC. Uh, and you have all this UK stuff as well, as well as simple search for Germany, okay, Amazon.de. So you have UK, you have USA, and you have Germany. Now, this is a quick start guide, so I'm going to show you how to start quickly and what I recommend. I always recommend the USA Extensive. Um, if you are in the UK, use the UK extensive okay it's going to give you the most data um, simple returns basically just keywords that it has found it doesn't give any it doesn't give any like uh, traffic estimations or anything like that okay now all of this expires in one month so once you use this the data expires after one month why is that why can I not just keep the data well guess what because it refreshes every time you look even in your search history it is refreshing Okay, it is refreshing, even though you might not see it, and even though you might not think it, if you come back a week later, it is refreshed data. Okay, so um, uh, so just uh, just as it, it's almost as if you ran a new um, uh, ran a new campaign. Okay. Okay, quick start guide. Let's go get an ASIN. Um, let's say we are trying to sell uh, here. Per perfect example. Let's do a knife sharpener. Knife sharpener. In all departments. Wow, we got a lot of different knife sharpeners here. Let's actually go for one of these um, stones that are up here. Okay, these. Uh, let's do knife sharpener stone actually. And what we're gonna do is what keyword inspector reverse ASIN does is um, is I'm gonna go into um, let's go into this one right here. It looks pretty popular. The more popular that the the item is, the better. Okay. Now, what Keyword Inspector Reverse ASIN does is it has nothing to do with the actual listing, the stuff that's in this actual listing. There are many times when people will say, <laughs> people will say, "Hey, Dean, um, you know this this isn't working because you know I'm I have a knife sharpener stone and people um people are coming and." for a, an axe sharpener. I don't have axe anywhere inside this thing. Um, well, that's the beauty of reverse ASIN. Okay, that's the beauty of do, using uh, Keyword Inspector's reverse ASIN. Um, Keyword Inspector reverse ASIN, what it does is it actually is looking at what people have typed in to find this. Okay, so if I typed in, say if I did axe sharpener stone, and I'm going down, I'm like, oh, okay, well, these look good, but I don't know. Um, what if I went down and, oh, this looks like pretty cool, I'll do this. And I actually look at it, and I'm like, this would be perfect for my axe. And even though it says knife sharpener, let me actually even do a control F right here. I'm going to do control F, 
and type in axe. So axe shows up because that is what I what I actually looked for. Let's see if it's anywhere in the listing. Note that's um, sponsored links. Nothing in the description. Nothing in the bullets. Nothing. Okay. But I stumbled upon this. This is a knife sharpener. Okay. But I think it would be perfect for my axe. Okay, that's what's happening with reverse ASIN. It's looking at what people have actually typed in. So all you have to do is you have to scroll down. You can either get it from the top up here, or you can scroll down to where it says ASIN up here. I usually like going to the top up here because it's that's usually the child ASIN. ASIN. So um, if the if this one doesn't work here, just go to the top one up here and it should work. Okay, so I'm actually going to grab the top one. Now I'm going to go back to Keyword Inspector, I'm going to pop this in here, and I'm going to make sure I have USA Extensive, scroll down, click Start Reverse ASIN Search, it says your ASINs are processing, so sweet, let's click that to see our, our processed reverse ASINs. Okay, so we have this Smith SK uh, Stone Sharpening Kit, okay, I'm going to click into that. And sometimes it takes a while, um, so I might have to pause this while it's doing its thing. Now remember, the reason why is it's always trying to get fresh data if it can. Okay. All right, so here we are. Now this is the quick start guide. Okay, best keyword rank extensive. Okay, I ignore this. All right, this is this is this is generally just look. This is generally just looking at the um, it's ranking based off of the estimated search volume okay off the estimated search volume if if this if you don't have a pocket knife sharpener you probably don't want that uh, want to um, uh, do that search so you have to use some human inference you have to use your head you have to use your noggin um, I usually just say okay this is the first one the second one third one fourth one like they're just numbering I don't even see where it says I ignore where it says best keyword rank right there, okay? Um, it used to be, there used to be an algorithm because there was no um, estimated search before, an algorithm that would kind of go and look and see what potentially could be the best keyword and rank off of that, okay? So you have your keyword. You have your estimated cur uh, current search volume for that keyword per month, okay? Then you have where this was actually found at the time of search. Now, the larger this number is, the more likely the thing's going to be bumping and jumping around. Okay, so if right here where you see 17, this might be 17, it might be 12 the next day, it might be not even on search the next day. It's, it's because Amazon's constantly trying to show relevant stuff. The higher it is, the more relevant Amazon thinks it is for that particular keyword, so it doesn't, it doesn't move around so much. Okay, so this is where this was found at the time of search. And so let's uh, let's go and check this out. Actually, let's try this pocket knife sharpener. Okay. So let's go up here, type in pocket knife sharpener, see if we can find this particular one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and there it is. Ten. And it's ranked ten for pocket knife sharpener. Pretty cool, yeah? Alright, so people found this by typing in pocket knife sharpener even though this does not look like a pocket knife sharpener but it could be maybe I don't know all right so next word rank okay what it's saying is that you want the word rank and individual words I completely ignore these generally okay but basically this is saying is that you want to have these words in your listing somewhere okay to start ranking for some of these okay here are some common misspellings. Sometimes misspelling, misspelled words will get you ranked depending on how misspelled they are or how close they are depending on what the algorithm, the algorithm is doing. Okay. Um, if you have a subscription, it'll tell you the number of products found to have exact keyword phrases in its title. Okay. This particular account I have is not uh, a subscription, um, so it's not showing up there. And then number of results found in Amazon Extensive. 900 and uh, 9,297. That doesn't mean that they are all using this right here. They might be using Pocket. 
They might be using knife, they might be using sharpening. The one here will show the exact keyword phrase and it'll tell you um, if what it is. Okay, so now we can use this and say, okay, if I do have a sharpening stone, maybe I want to target knife sharpener stone or knife sharpening stone. And I like paid ads, so I'm actually going to go to Amazon. I'm going to see how many how many people are vying for this keyword, knife sharpener stone. I want to see who comes up sponsored. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Lots of lots of sponsors on that one. So I'm probably not going to go after that particular um, that particular one. Okay, um, but what I will do is I will go and check knife sharpening stone. Let's see if that's different. And go here. Okay, we have one, two sponsor. And now over here, we don't really have stones. We have one, two here, but it's, they're not really up there. So, hmm, less competition in my, in my opinion, because these two aren't quite as relevant. And let's try uh, honing stone, sharpener stone, whetstone. Let's try sharpening stone set. Let's try that real quick. Ah, see, okay, so we have two, two there, but then we have this. Whenever I see this, it's kind of irrelevant. It, it might it, it, this one still kind of looks because we have these two right here. That kind of looks like there's going to be some competition. But I do want to find one that's good. So let's try and find one. Blade sharpening stone. Let's try that one. Now it doesn't look like there's many searches, but I actually don't go by searches um, here because it doesn't matter what you're using. Any Amazon tool, as of this video, does not have access to Amazon's API, and so it uh, doesn't matter what tool you're using, it's generally not going to be accurate. The only way to find out 100% for certain how much traffic is going to happen is to run sponsored ads for that um, particular term. So here we are doing blade sharpening stone. Boom, blade sharpening stone. That's pretty cool. Right? We don't have these two up here sponsor wise. So that tells me that these ones are probably the first one up here is irrelevant. So these guys are probably doing a broad match or something like that. And it's not it's not Amazon's not thinking it's as relevant. So if I did a campaign which blade sharpening stone is an exact match, I would probably be number one and I probably wouldn't have a high cost per click. Okay, so then I can outdo my competition. Actually, you can see us right here. We're number two already for that on um, from the product we're using. So, so how do you use this? You can use this in a couple ways. One, you can use it for um, you can use it on your already existing product if it's popular enough. Okay, now you need to have a good amount of sales in order for this to work with your existing product to see what people are actually searching for to find your product and what you can target. But then you can use it like we're doing right now to find what is the competitors doing. Okay? So if this is what this is one of our competitors right here that we're that we were running this on. Now we know that they aren't running sponsored ads over here for this particular blade sharpening stone. So we could run sponsored ads, get above them and see if we can't convert better and actually rise organically through this uh, through using keyword inspector. Uh, reverse ASIN, uh, but generally that's that is how you use that's the quick start guide for how do you how you use Keyword Inspector's Reverse ASIN tool. It's extremely powerful, works really really well, and is by far one of the most one of the most beneficial tools for using um, uh, for doing sponsored ads or any type of paid advertising or even organic ranking on Amazon. Simply because the big difference is it's not looking at the listing here it's looking at what people are actually wanting to buy um, it's it, you know it's 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 the uh, it's the Google backlinks uh, when when uh, the thing that revolutionized Google was not just seeing the the keywords that were on the page but seeing what 
what keywords were backlinking to content and where were those backlinks coming from. That's what we're doing here. We're, uh, we're not just looking at what is on the page of our, of our um, competitor. We're looking at what are people actually searching for to find that competitor. Um, much more powerful. So that's the quick start guide for um, Keyword Inspector Reverse ASIN. Um, let me know your questions and uh, I'll be doing some videos for the Trends tool as well as Kipper in the near future.